Over the years, hermits on the Hermitcraft SMP server have created unique economies to say the least. They sell items and resources to each other, usually in exchange for diamonds. A lot of these buildings and shops can be quite fun and creative, and sometimes flat out impressive to look at. Welcome to Minecracks, your go-to place for all things Minecraft. In today's video, we will discuss 10 of the various shops on Season 8 of Hermitcraft, and we will be ranking them from worst to best. Before we get into the list though, consider leaving us a like and sub if you enjoy the video. Number 10, Mumbo Jumbo, Harmless Harvest. The ideas and concepts this season are wonderful, from Green's shop on wheels, or tracks I guess, to Impulse's puns. Mumbo has the concept game on point here at Harmless Harvest. It's a very fun and unique concept, selling items that he obtained without killing anything. However, the aesthetic doesn't do it for me. The overuse of lanterns and the overall color palette and block choice is just not quite right. Mumbo may be a redstoner, but he still has built wonderful things before. This is simply not one of those things. Number 9. Impulse SV Eyesore I could not figure out where to place this eyesore. Literally. I get the pun. I understand the concept and I can respect it. Eyesore, spelt I-S-O-A-R, refers to a person soaring in the sky with elytra and rockets that Impulse SV sells. And the building literally looks horrendous on purpose. But for us, that does not detract from the fact that it's literally causing my eyes to become sore. Number 8. Slime Block Casino, Cubfan 135. Cubfan's goal this season is to get Hermits gambling their troubles away at the Slime Block Casino, where Hermits can either win Slime Blocks or lose all of their Slime Blocks and Diamonds. The idea is a ton of fun, but it's the building that severely holds it back. Like the rest of these shops, it was established quite early on and there are much cooler shops out there. The green and cobblestone interior cramped in such a tiny room with very little decoration is just not enough to make it any higher on the list. Number 7. Stress Monster 101. The Book Nook. You can feel the energy of Stress Monster's book nook. The aesthetic is done quite well. From the vines to the cozy interior and the actual location being inside of a hill. Whatever you feel from this building, Stress Monster did that intentionally. However, with it being so simple and lacking so many details, it's hard to put it any higher up on the list. I'm sure it could be more detailed, and I'm sure Grian could agree. But from everything presented, I cannot discredit the adorableness of this shop. And on top of that, it has the cheapest enchanted bookshop on the server. The shop itself is awesome, but it's not enough to have it very high on the list. Number 6. Pearlescent Moon, Padlama Co. Pearlescent Moon definitely had fun with this build, and it surely looks like it. Pad Lama Co. sells villager goods like Grian, and the building itself is a ship, on land. The colors are vibrant and fun, and it looks like Pearlescent Moon had a good time building it. However, compared to some of the other ideas and executions of the other shops, this one seems to fall a bit short. But it's still great! Number 5. Yes Wings Club, Impulse SV, Wells Knight. Impulse and Wells Knight teamed up on this shop solely to compete with Is Call's No Wings Club, where you get rewarded for not using Elytra and flying around. However, this clubhouse of a shop tries to convince hermits to fly around everywhere by selling rockets and elytras. The building itself is impressive, taking on a modern resort style. Where I find this shop really cool is the complete contrast of Iskal's shop, being a humble cottage strung up in the air by chains. This fun storefront lands solidly at number 5. Before we reveal our top picks, remember to leave us a like if you're enjoying the video, and subscribe for more just like it. Gemini Tay Azela Shop Azela Shop created by Gemini Tay aims to sell Azela related items to her fellow hermits. Azela items were recently added in the Caves and Cliffs update, and setting up an early shop to capitalize on these new items is very smart by Gemini Tay. The shop itself is essentially the stump of a tree. Is it basic? Yes, but being created in her second episode, I believe it's very creative, and she used her resources wonderfully, so it looks quite humble. Number 3. Good Times with Scar, B. Cirque. Scar shows off his impressive building skills yet again with his fun new Destroyer of Worlds. Or shall I say, B-Stroyer of Worlds. No? Alright then, moving on. In this tank of a shop, Scar sells B-related goods. The building itself is very detailed and the idea, like most of Scar's builds, is wondrous. In terms of what he sells, B-merchandise is fairly played out, although someone's gotta do it. And even if the merchandise isn't impressive, the building itself being such a wonder to look at is enough to get the shop ranked very highly. Number 2. G-Train, Grian G-Train is not the name of an up-and-coming rapper, it's the name of Grian's shop. Grian, like a few other hermits, wanted to capitalize on the early game, so his first rendition of G-Train was a minecart going around in circles selling random stuff his villagers sold. However, humble beginnings can lead to enterprise. Today, the G-Train is a massive train. It may be stationary, but that does not stop Grian's big idea of sending minecarts throughout the server to sell the goods he gets from his villagers. Grian's creativity on his shop and his incredible building skills lands him a very high spot. 
Number 1. Evil Zuma Void, The Evil Emporium Zuma hit it out in the park with this one. It's quite obvious why it hit the top spot on this list. The shop itself is stunning. The detail in the roof and the walls and the layout is wonderful. The evil Zuma statue overlooking the shop is just terrifying, along with the palette. The concept of this shop is to essentially be evil. You buy derp coins with diamonds and you use those derp coins to buy merchandise. However, where the evil part comes in is when Zuma changes the value of the coins randomly. So one day you are rich in derp coin and the next you are completely broke. The design of the shop itself is enough to put it at the number one spot, but adding the concept of the derp coin is just the cherry on top. Thank you all for watching this list, ranking some of the shops on Hermitcraft Season 8. We hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you did, feel free to leave a like, and if you want to see more from Minecracks, click the subscribe button.